It's always the best way to end your work week. A nice beat. You got video to look forward to on YouTube, but let's get the camera off of me because my guest, end of the day, TGIF, she is the superstar, the retired queen, the the whatever you want to call it. She's top top dog, uh, at least in my mind, and I'll tell you why in a minute, of the adult film industry, the one and only Jenna Hayes. Jenna, how are you? I'm awesome. I just rolled out of bed. <laughs> what a life. <laughs> Well, I was at the club last night, you know, late night, uh -huh. always. I, uh, I'm living that, like, rock star schedule where I'm up all night and I sleep all day. And, of course, she's talking about Blush uh, here at Ninth Street downtown in Pittsburgh. She is here tonight and tomorrow night. Two shows tonight, two shows on Saturday night. Uh, just get there, enjoy the bar, enjoy the other girls, and, of course, get your seat for Jenna Hayes. Uh, she'll have her uh, some probably sometime after 10, I would I would imagine. Yeah, around 10, 12, you know. And what can we expect in the Jenna Hayes uh Jenna Hayes. Lots of naughtiness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do a sh every show I do is about 20 minutes long. So it's okay. about five songs. It's a long time for me to be on stage. Mm -hmm. And I do um, a lot of naughty dancing. Um, of course, I get completely naked. And uh, I do a lot of flirtatious stuff with the crowd. I give away stuff. And I have a good time. You know? And what about that is not appealing to any guy. So, Jenna, I'm, it's, it's awesome you're here. Uh, we know you have a, a busy schedule. Of course, you're doing uh, your tour around the country right now. And, and actually, that's you retired from the adult film industry as a as a performer yes. uh, last year, correct? Yes, I retired. I announced my retirement in January of 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe February. It was like right at the end of January, almost February. I think on the YouTube video. And yes, on the YouTube video that I just recorded for my fans because I wanted everybody to know. But I actually hadn't shot a scene of myself um, since. It's April of two, uh, April of 2011. Mm -hmm. So I've been retired actually for almost two years now. What uh, what what made you want to retire from that, but still do a tour or either the clubs? Um, well, I love dancing. I, I <laughs> see, and most girls. I love it, it dancing. Seems like, it seems like most girls they if they do it if they do the club tour they do it only for the publicity they don't enjoy the dancing yeah a lot of girls just do the dancing to promote their movies sure. and things like that and to just make a little extra cash right. but I love dancing ever since I started um, I actually was really um, hesitant to start dancing at first because I danced one day as a house girl when I was 18 and it was a horrible experience but uh, <laughs> then I you know after a couple of years in the business You're a little like, more important now the offers well the offers kept coming in and you know and finally I was like you know what, I really got to get out there and meet my fans and do some touring and stuff like maybe it's different than being a house girl because being a house girl is hard work you know sure. you go up there a dozen times a night you got to hustle guys for tips it's a crapshoot of your customers you got to yeah. hustle guys for dances and stuff it's a lot more you know it's a lot more difficult and you do it every single night you know I only go up for two shows you know 20 minutes each show so um, finally I was like I'm just gonna try it and I did it and it was awesome and I loved it so much I love being able to interact with my fans I love being able to meet with them I love the you know, the physicality of it mm -hmm. it's like I don't really have to go to the gym that much because I dance so yeah. much now um, and after that I was just like you know this is awesome I love it and uh, I was done. I was done filming, and was like I knew I was done filming for probably about a year or so before I actually decided mm -hmm. to stop. And uh, but I, I'm always going to dance, probably for a while now, probably for like three or four years. When um, more. I like it. <laughs> when when in your career uh, in, in in porn, when did you start doing the tour? Like when did you start? When did you go out? I start? started dancing about two years after I'd been in the business. Okay. So I've been dancing for about eight nine years now. Gotcha. Yeah, and I love it. I mean, I actually, once I started doing it and touring, I'm like, wow, I like this way better than shooting. <laughs> well, and, well and, 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 you know, earlier, as you said, you know, being a house girl, all the, the factors they face and, and the was, obstacles, but it's pretty badass that you can have your name on a billboard and, and you're automatically going to have high clientele lining up. For sure. Like, I respect those house girls so much because it's hard, you know, it's hard work to try to make a good living doing that, you know, and... um. And I just, I don't know, it's just so much fun to be able to tour and, like, be able to see all my fans and stuff. It's, like, it's just really rewarding, you and, know? And you, get to come do, <laughs> and you get to come do radio interviews. And so. I get to come do radio <laughs> interviews. I get to see different cities all the time and, you know, make some money. Woo! <laughs> and you have, to, you have to go watch. The video will be up in a little bit on the Trib Live Radio YouTube. You have to come see her. She uh, she has the cute, wholesome look. She's got the headset. She's got the glasses. So you can you can look at that, and then you can get excited for the exact opposite of wholesome. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, in a little yeah, bit, exactly. In a little bit. So you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> Jenna Hayes, you can follow her on Twitter at Jenna Hayes, just uh, just as the name is spelled. I want to ask you this question, and, and I kind of told you I was going to bring this up. You know, you were you know reveal for everybody who cares about my personal life. You were the you were the star, of the first porn DVD that I'd ever uh, ever purchased, uh, and and I, rem and I remember it. Well, thank you. Yes, <laughs> you. you uh, there's, there's no other girl that can come and do an interview that I can ever say that to. You were. I you got were, to like pop your cherry. Then. It was. It was. It was. It was as good for you as it was for me. Um, <laughs> What I want to ask, obviously you're Jenna Hayes, you, you, you 
you have all the awards and such. What is it that, that makes you Jenna Hayes? I, and I don't mean obviously you look great. You have sex on camera. You know you you've, you've done hundreds of films. But what is it in the adult film industry that sets you apart to be? You know, what makes you Jenna Hayes? What makes Lisa Ann Lisa Ann like th- these top names? Hmm. How do you get to that? Um, what is that? That's a really hard question. I don't know. I just I just did like I got in the business because I wanted to make a lot of money mm-hmm. and I wanted to get out of the situation I was li- I was in before. I was really poor and didn't really you know was living with friends you know here and there and just wanted to have a place of my own and a car and you know money in the bank and everything like that. So that's why I started doing it. And once I realized I could make it my career, I like kind of just in, like enveloped myself in it. I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself the biggest star possible, you know? And I just, I think a good work ethic combined with like a fun personality, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I have, you know, combined with um, what my boyfriend calls the it factor, which and that's, he says I have. And that's, and that's, <laughs> I don't know. Right. And that's what I was curious about. Cause I think most people would, I don't think anybody can really argue that you have the it factor. Just look at, again, look at your resume, but it's like, in, in, in well, and you know, it's it's one thing. I don't know. I'm not that conceited, man. No, 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 no. But you know, in in more, uh, you know, in more conventional or, or in more, in other in other career forms that people can relate to or get to experience firsthand every day, you know, it's easier to look at a broadcaster and say, okay, you know, they have that it factor, or or look at um things that are more open to the air. But to to a, a singer or a dancer, right? Or but like to that. but yeah. to a genre like adult like adult film where most people don't really have any idea what it's like and or, or are nervous to know or whatever you know what is an it fact i think that's that's kind of i don't know it's something secret <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can't explain it you know it's it's just it's just something i guess that is in me that i just have i have a natural like performing gene or something like i get on camera i turn it on right you know i get on stage i turn it on like no matter what's going on you know in my personal life or whatever like i the camera starts rolling, the lights go on, I'm Jenna yeah, Hayes. Yeah. I am into that role. I am, you know, the sex goddess. <laughs> you know? That's, you know... Fair that's enough. Just, it just it's hard come, to articulate. It just comes... Yeah, it's hard to articulate. It comes really naturally for me. I don't know. Well, something else that seems to come natural <laughs> is, is the business sense in you. Uh, of course, Generation X Studios, uh, that is the new project for, for the new chapter in life. And you are doing a lot of directing and producing now. Yes. Um, this year has been a little bit slow for me. I only put out one... Uh, one DVD that I directed, but it, it did get nominated for Best Girl Girl Movie of the Year and uh, also Best Girl Girl Group Scene. Um, it was also the first movie that I've only direct that I've just mm-hmm. directed and not been in out of my company. So it's really important for me. I also got nominated for Best Director for it, nice. which is my first, I believe, my first director nomination. And to, and to get a uh, director nomination for being uh, for directing a girl girl movie mm-hmm. is just kind of like, whoa. <laughs> What it, talk to me? What it's like about uh, directing a porn scene? Is it is it what is it what we'd imagine directing uh, a, a dramatic scene in a romantic love story? I, I mean, in terms of, I, I mean, each, just getting your vision out on the each on the scene? director has a different you know method for their stuff. I mean, sure. a, lo- most, a lot of the directors in the business do uh, features and stuff where the ones with the storylines and the dialogue. Well, I don't want to shoot that. The, par- the parodies, <laughs> the parodies, things like yeah. that. I don't shoot that. I shoot what's called all sex or wall to wall. Um, some of my stuff has vignettes in it, which is like little mini setups, but never like full on. So like, you cut out all the stuff. fat. You just get right to the, <laughs> right to the, right to the meat of it. Well, I don't think. No that, pun intended. I don't think that people want to see you know that much acting in porn. They're watching porn for one reason. You know what I mean? They're not watching it. This to is see. why she has the it factor because she just thinks simple and logical. I think like a guy. <laughs> that, <laughs> that might be it. But um, yeah, people don't want to see you know Meryl Streep you know type stuff <laughs> in in porn. They want to see the good stuff. You know, they want to have the scenario set up and have a hot chick and see her, you know, get busy. (laughs) Now, obviously, you're done performing. uh, You're done as a performer in the adult film industry. Do you have and I know you've crossed in some of the mainstream uh, magazine, you know, shoots and such. Do you have any interest to try to be a performer and not like, you know, an actress and, and, and. more mainstream films? Of course. Um, that's actually one of my goals right now. I'm starting to move into that into that direction. I just got like a kind of sort of agent that's working for me and I'm doing headshots and mm-hmm. all that stuff. I'm going to start taking like more intensive acting classes since I haven't been in high school drama for quite some time. <laughs> oh, you, but you did do high school drama. I did. Okay. <laughs> for two years. And um, I, I just did like a little YouTube video for a website called, uh, for a YouTube channel called Yum Yum F. Okay. And um it's a little like funny like spoof on the um, on Law and Order, 
It's called Law and Justice That's Con the picture and Inspectors. I saw on Twitter. Okay. Yeah, super funny. So I, I did that, and I'm trying to move more into that direction. Nice. Um, I would love to do like comedies and scary movies. I was just getting That's, ready. I was getting yeah. ready to say your um, your your personality, uh, you know, just from talking to you both on the air here and, and when you came in, you would, I could see you doing like like sketch like SNL type sketch comedy yeah. like improv almost. I could see them just throwing because you know you're used to being out there just kind of li it. live on a stage it, or yeah. what have you. Yeah, it's 